Hey guys, I'm back at the shop today, and uh, I know it's been a while. I got a, hopefully a quick, fast, fun video. Quick, fast, fun. That sounds right. Uh, and it'll be exciting because I got a good friend has returned today. Let's take a look at her. All right, so we have my uh, 61 Bambi's returned. No, she's returned for a tire upgrade. The uh, owner wants to go from these tires to a little bit taller tire. So these are 14s and those are 13. So they want a little bit more uh, ground, or ground clearance. That's not why we're watching this one. Hello. <laughs> On his way to come bring this to me, he unfortunately forgot to raise his tongue jack up. And so we need to put a new tongue jack on. So this is a fairly straightforward uh, job here. We just got three bolts and we're gonna bolt that thing on. Doesn't look like there's too much damage to the tongue, but we'll take a look at that too. So let's go ahead and get you guys set up and we'll take this thing off. All right, so I just have it on jack stands right now. First thing we have to do is take those bolts off and then I can't remember how I wired this thing up electrically. I was trying to think about it. I don't know why I wouldn't have just gone to the generator battery cable. But it looks like I'm going to take that off so I can get access to the wires too. So this generator comes off with just that. There's a screw there and a screw there and the whole thing should pop off. Which is why I put that handle there. Of course that is the original entry door handle, assist handle. Which we had to take off so that the uh, awning could actually close up. Get you going. The uh, back of that just fits in this lip right here, so it holds it a little bit steady. Where did I put that wire? Man, looks like I'm gonna have to buck connect that. No problem. Now usually these are 9 sixteenths. And they are. Now in these setups, you usually just have a power wire. The ground goes through the jack right here. So that's why the, these bolts normally have these star washers to help make sure the ground gets through pretty well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this right there. And get this jack pulled up. Hopefully. got difficult already. Alright guys, so this simple job just got difficult, of course. I don't know if you can see but that got wedged out so far that it won't fit through. So I'm gonna try to pull this out. It's uh, too wide to come out. The hole. So now I have to uh, figure out how I wanna get this cut off so I can pull it out. I think I'm going to have to get a sawzall and cut all that off. Okay. Well, I got my metal blades on here. I don't know if these are going to be long enough. My long metal blade is uh, all dull. I don't know if I can get this in there or not. <sighs> Looks like I should be able to. So 
Well, looks like that's what we're gonna do. Let's get you guys set up again. free. Let's see if that helped. It didn't. Help. All right, now I just have to cut through the worm gear and I should free it all up. See, that's how you take a jack off in two easy steps. Just remove the bolts and pull the jack out. And of course, there you can see uh, the worm gear. That's what's inside of a jack. That's just what's turning to make it go up and down. Because it's spread out so far, I couldn't get it through the hole. So this is bowed a little bit. I just hammer that down and then we'll get the new jack out and put it on. All right, we're gonna be replacing that jack with a new uh, Lippard guy here. It says a Jet 3000 NG. I've installed these on uh, a couple trailers now. They actually do move pretty fast. So I, I'm hoping this one will work out well for them. Uh, it's a fairly small trailer. 3,000 pounds should be more than enough. We'll find out. There's a nice guideline on the side to show you which ones you should be using. To my eye, this doesn't look much different from that one. I would just get a 5,000 pound then. Guessing that NG stands for next generation. Now look at that. It's got its own ground wire. Everything I told you was a lie now. Comes with the crank handle here, that way you can uh, pop the cover off, put it in there. And at least operate it by hand if you need to in an emergency. All right, let's try the first thing. See if it fits. was tight that's good news now we just have to hook up ground and power that's the easy part right oh we gotta put the bolts on We have a hole right there. I'll just put that to a ground right there. It'll be a little bit prettier installation. So I'll just ground that right to the frame there. And then we just have to hook up the power. All right, nice and polished up there. So now we'll route this to where we want it to be. It's to be right about. There will be more than long enough, and so we'll give it a little bit more just in case. Strip that back. Put a little eyelet on it. Back on. We'll just put some corrosion inhibitor on it. That was simple. Now we just need to do the power wire. So rather than going all the way back to the source for the wire, 
because this wire is actually thicker, I'm going to use this one. And we'll make the connection down underneath. There. using a uh, heat shrink yellow butt connector Get my magic embossing tool It's all wired up now we just have to uh, tuck it back so it's pretty right we gotta be pretty all right let's put our foot back on Got an adjustable foot here so you don't have to bring it down so far it's more like a landing gear on a fifth wheel so you have block or whatever you want to put it on but of course, this will still accommodate a wheel if you had a wheel. All right, and of course you can see, just barely, there is a sticker right here. It says stop. So stop trying to retract the jack once it's at that point. Now I wish I could just go ahead and do that and it'll work, but I know these batteries are dead. And unfortunately, he didn't leave me his power cord. So, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. All right, so I got a jump pack hooked up there for now. You can kinda see where the battery's located now. That's a little compartment. And the battery disconnect switch is right back there. It's hard to see. Let's see, first things first. Does the light light up? The light lights up. There's a backlight too. Ooh, there's a backlight too. All right, so there's one issue. All right, so I'm bringing it down right now. This is exciting. There we go. Back on it. So it is retracting. I mean, I can't say overall that it's much faster. It's a little bit faster than a standard one, but not much. It is quieter. It doesn't seem to bind up so much. I do know this is, like one uh, commenter told me on my video, this is a heavy tongue. There's no doubt about it. Having a generator on your tongue is going to increase the weight quite a bit. Uh, but I think we're working pretty well. Still a lot better than hand cranking this thing. So that was our simple, easy video. All right, guys, there you have it. Just a quick, simple, easy job of changing a, a tongue jack out. We went with the new style. Uh, this is a Stromberg, but that's a Lippard company, so everything's Lippard, it seems like. Uh, 3,000 pound NG jet jack not a sponsor uh, we had to buy that uh, it really is, should be a simple job uh, thanks again for watching guys let me know if you have any questions uh, it's always going to be a bad, good idea to uh, retract your tongue jack before you start moving the uh, trailer otherwise you might run into uh, an issue there so that's an unfortunate problem
but I guess that's like part of a trailer life. Is that better? But before that, let's take a quick walk around again. It's uh, been about two, two and a half years since I've seen this last, and he's been enjoying it. Uh, it's got a little bit of a battle scar right here. Hope the uh, other guy looks a lot worse. Other than that, other than being a little bit dirty, that polish is still holding up pretty well. And uh, still is beautiful. Still like this thing. Invade too much privacy in there. But the construction's holding up. We got him a uh, portable satellite dish last time. And uh, I think he also uses this as a uh, an outside office to get away from it all. <laughs>